This is CPM Pre-Calculus Chapter 2, number 143. So suppose we want to find the area under the function f of x is equal to 2 to the power of x on the interval from 1 to 3. So that's the same thing as the area on the curve 2 to the x between 1 and 3. Okay? That's what we want to find. Part A says sketch a graph of the curve shading the area of the region you want to find. So I'm going to take my calculator out, turn it on, and go ahead and put y equals clear anything there, and y1 is equal to 2 to the power of x. Graph it. There's my curve, right? This. So there's my curve. Done with the calculator. Shade in the area of the region I want to find. So here's one, here's three. Between one and three is the region of the area I want to find. So shade it in. There's my graph. Part B says, if left and point rectangles are used, will the estimate be too low or too high? Justify your answer. So I'm going to use this color, and if I use left end point rectangles inside here, that means I'm going to touch the curve with the left end of the rectangle, right? Am I going to have an under or an overestimate? Well, looking at the curve at left end point rectangles in the region, one less than x less than three what do you notice um it will be an underestimate the area so underestimate means too low will be too low right it's gonna be lower than the actual area because there's still some sections right we have right here that are not included um, in our estimate, okay? Because there is, there are, sorry, some sections not included. Okay, that's part B. Part C says, well, what if you used right endpoint rectangles to estimate the area? Will that estimate be too low or too high? Justify your answer. So if I used right endpoint rectangles, then every point is going to touch the right side, right? Of, and I see that I'm going to be going over now, not, not under, right? So if I used right endpoint rectangles, looking at left, so if I draw them in, I'm able to see looking at right endpoint rectangles this over a little bit in the region in our region 1 to 3 the area will be an overestimate right overestimate means too high will be too high overestimate another way to say that is upper bound and over here would be a lower bound. Okay, why is this too high? Because we are in, we're counting additional area. Because we are counting or including additional area. Right. All right. So part D says to use your program to find an estimate using 20 left and right endpoint rectangles. Well, luckily we have a program called Curve Area, right? That does this, right? It actually it does the left endpoint area, the right endpoint area, the trapezoid area, and if you followed previous videos, we included the midpoint area, okay? The midpoint rectangle area. So if you have your calculator, right, go ahead and go to your program, curve area, run it, right, 
curve area is the program, it's going to ask for the function. Well, what is our function? Well, if you look here at the, pro at the problem, our function is given is f of x is equal to 2 to the x. So go ahead and put in the function is 2 to the power of x, written like that. So 2 exponent x, right? A, A, well, this, A and B are boundaries, right? Where are we starting? Where are we stopping? Well, here we're going from 1 to 3. So A is 1 and B is 3. I'm going to put A is 1, B is 3, and finally N is the number of rectangles or regions, and we're told 20. Okay, so I'm going to put 20 here, and when I put enter, I'm going to be given um, all these values. So this problem is saying to use the program to find it. Um, so I'm going to be, I want to answer the left endpoint rectangle area and the right endpoint rectangle area. This is really A sub R and A sub L. Um, so go ahead and do that with your program. I'm not going to do it with mine because I want to make sure you know how to do this. Instead, I'm going to edit the program and let you see it, right? And you can pause and stop this at any time to make sure you have um, the contents of this program in your calculator. So if you don't have it yet, now would be a good time to um, bring out your calculator. You can pause this video as often as you would like and to copy it all in. So I'm gonna go from the very top of the program to the very bottom. Okay, so again, it displays the left, right, and trapezoid, as well as the midpoint rectangle approximations. Okay. All right, in fact, I think I'm going to zoom in. Let's go ahead and, oh, let's, yeah, I can zoom in. Here we go. I'm gonna zoom in and scroll through it one more time in case you want to pause and get a better view of the program, okay? Like I said, you want to answer the question here with the left and right endpoint areas. Remember, they are units squared, and your calculator is going to spit out the answers. So let's go to the very top and look at it one more time. Control home input function equals string one. String one is stored into y1. Input a, b, and n. b minus a over n is stored into w. k, r, l, and m are initialized. A label of eight. Here we're storing in the left endpoint area, the midpoint area. k is incremented. The right endpoint area. Checking for k is less than or equal to n minus 1, and then if it is, go ahead and loop. Otherwise, compute the trapezoidal area, display L, R, T, and M. Okay, so that ends for us CPM Precalculus Chapter 2, number 143.